Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Our Shakespeare, the show where I talk about Shakespeare from a contemporary American perspective. Up today, Time's Trial in the Winter's Tale. No, I'm not going to talk about the Winter's Tale in a general sense. I've already done a short spear take on the Winter's Tale, and in that video I summarized the plot and had shared some general thoughts about the play as a whole. If you're interested in watching that video before you watch this one, I'll put a link to it in the comments below. But, assuming that you already know the plot of the Winter's Tale, let's jump right in. So, the Winter's Tale is very interesting to me for many reasons, and one of the main reasons that the Winter's Tale is interesting is its structure. You've got the first half of the play, which is very tragic, and focuses very heavily on a kind of courtroom drama. There's a trial sequence that takes up much of Act One. Then a bear shows up, chases the tragedy away, and then the second half of the play is very much a comedy. And not just a comedy, a pastoral comedy and a romantic one as well. Now something very interesting happens between those two very different parts of the play. So you've got tragedy, Tragedy gets chased away by a bear, and then something very interesting happens. Time shows up. Time, as a character, walks out on stage, literally the personification of time, and delivers a soliloquy to the audience about what happens in the 16 years between the first half of the play and the second half of the play. The main thing that happens is that some people grow up, and Leontes shuts himself off from society out of grief for what happened in the first half of the play. I want to focus on the very first thing that Time says when Time enters. Time comes out, says to the audience, I that please some, try all. Now you can take this line in a very surface reading and say, yes, time as it passes is good to some people, but time is hard for everybody. Everybody ages, everybody dies eventually, so nobody can escape the difficulties of the passage of time. But there's another element to it. I find it very interesting that that turn of phrase, try all, occurs in this part of the play. Try all sounds like the word trial. And the first half of the play is very, very much about a trial, a human trial. Leontes putting his wife Hermione on trial for adultery. It's almost as if time is saying, okay, Leontes, okay, humans, you've had your stab at justice. You've had your stab at morality. Now it's my turn. I put everything and everyone on trial, and we're going to do that now. And the play very much becomes what happens when time has an opportunity to address a situation. And what time is able to work out with these 16 years and the scenes that follow these 16 years is a few very interesting things. First, Leontes comes to understand that what he did was wrong that what he did was terrible. Second, Hermione is able to find forgiveness for Leontes and come to some reconciliation with him. But only after the passage of these 16 years, and only after Leontes has been able to feel bad enough for what he did. The next thing that happens, that's important, three, is that Perdita has aged 16 years and has gone from being a baby to being a young woman old enough to enter into a romantic relationship with Florizel, the son of the king of Bohemia. Leontes and Bohemia had a falling out. Leontes and Polixenes, I should say, had a falling out. And time realizes that for the two of them to work it out, that time needs to throw it to the younger generation and that the younger generation can make amends between these two countries better than the two kings can. And so, time is able to button all of this up with 16 years for people to grapple with what they did, 16 years of people to mature, and 16 years for a new generation to lead the way forward. 
on the subject of making amends for what happened. And time, through those 16 years, is able to repair a deeply, deeply horrible thing that has happened. With Leontes accusing Hermione of adultery, Hermione uh, seeming to die, their son Mamilius dying, Leontes planning to poison Polixenes, Polixenes hearing about this and fleeing, and yet time is able to repair these wounds, is able to help certain people see the error of their ways, and is able to bring up new generations to confront the problems created by the older generations. So, The Winter's Tale, then, is ultimately a meditation of the trials of time. And that has me thinking a lot about the time that we live in right now specifically uh, around the subject of the, uh, the Me Too movement, and more specifically, the Time's Up side of the Me Too movement. So if you're not familiar, or you're watching this at another time, um, right now, and as I'm recording this, it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day in 2018. And we are living in a moment in history where there has been a dramatic shift in the public awareness of sexual assault and sexual misdeeds from men towards women. And it's, it's getting a lot of traction in Hollywood and in other segments of our society. Quite recently, uh, Oprah Winfrey gave an acceptance speech of the Cecil B. DeMille Awards, uh, Cecil B. DeMille Award at the Golden Globes, where she mentioned the uh, Time's Up movement. So, not only am I interested in this because of the idea of Time's Up, another reference to time uh, in The Winter's Tale, but also the idea that we are living in a very particular time, and that now, over the course of time, certain things are in place that have made this movement possible at this particular time. And men have to reckon with it, just as Leontes had to reckon with how he had mistreated his wife in The Winter's Tale. And because this is MLK Day, I've got Martin Luther King Jr. quotes on the mind. And the idea of time bringing about justice in ways that humans, that individual humans cannot, and that human institutions cannot always do by themselves, that sometimes it requires a length of time, reminds me of the famous Martin Luther King Jr. quote that um, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. And I really do believe that that's true. And I think we're seeing that in the Me Too movement and in the Time's Up movement. And I think we see that in The Winter's Tale, the way that it allows the character of time to come in and say, yeah, here's some bad stuff that happened. Let me put everything on trial. Give me 16 years, and I'll be able to put everything together. So those are my thoughts today on this uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day 2018. If you enjoyed this video, please comment below, like, subscribe. So thanks for watching. Fare you well. I commend you to your own content.